thanks so much for joining us. It's great having you here and uh, a lot of questions as to uh, what it is about yoga that is so unique, that uh, has so many benefits to everyone and to those of us as we get older. Uh, could you talk about that a little bit? Well, thank you. Hello, Andy. Thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate that. It's great having uh, you here. <laughs> Uh, so you mentioned uh, about the how the practice has a physical and a, a mental aspect and uh, that's why they call it the mind-body practice and in a recent workshop I, I like to break this down very simply into some parts that happen in a yoga practice when you're in a classroom and a teacher is guiding you through some poses on a mat what actually happens what we're doing there is we're lengthening our body to release tension and when we release tensions in our body it begins to have a relax a relaxing effect that's one of the benefits and uh, we also breathe in a way it's called pranayama that helps us also relax and this then brings our nervous system to a calmer place and calms our nervous system down and our emotions temper as well and our mind starts to calm Does that so that's fall into the area of mindfulness uh, mindfulness is a, is a Buddhist term, but but yoga just calls this being present or self awareness. Um, they they have a lot of o overlapping qualities, but um, but yes, you can you can consider it a mindful practice. That's for sure. And then there's also the physical aspect of it that, that uh, really can be challenging. That's true. It can be very challenging and. I love a lead practice myself, so I, I spend a lot of time in a classroom with the teacher because then I can concentrate. And yoga meets us where we are, so my practice, perhaps I might enjoy a very strong physical practice and other people may need something different. But there are, there are, yoga, there are yoga types uh, out there for children, for athletes, for therapeutics. So if you have arthritis or a bad back or something, there are, there are yoga teachers out there to teach to help you do poses that will that will help with those conditions. So there are many different types of practices that you can do. It's very accessible to anyone, really. There's practices for, for people who are maybe a little older. Absolutely, uh, you can, and uh, well, I, I have to say though, they're one of the oldest yoga teachers on the planet. I've studied under Tao Porshan Lynch, and she's, I think she's 98 and she has an amazing physical practice. So I never <laughs> would ever great. judge someone by their physical condition um, based upon their age. You just never know. Um, but yes, you, any yoga can meet you wherever you are. And doctors are prescribing it, recommending that more and more patients do it for different ailments. As we go through life, we develop certain habits. If we're opposite, if we sit, sit at desks our whole lives, which I, I speak to leaders in my book, um, we, we tend to get tight in certain areas and that's that's going to be hard to unwind and that's going to lead to different types of pain or conditions that uh, yoga can help with. So my book, I did focus, so the tools and techniques that I discuss in my book, it's a, it's a holistic approach to well-being, but overall the content in the book is, is, is useful to anyone and learning how to take care of the parts of your whole your well-being so that you show up happy, healthy, and inspiring and engaged in your life. Oh, beautiful. So somebody who wants to get hold of that and learn more about it, uh, how can they uh, do that? Well, of course, it's on Amazon. Anyone can find it there. Yeah. It's also on Barnes & Noble. And if you want to reach me on my website, I can direct you um, in the right place as well or send you a copy. My website's www.taramitchell.com. Fantastic. Well, uh, Tara, it's been great. I uh, Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for your time. Well, I hope you liked the show. You learned a thing or two. The full show is available on YouTube and at Bloomer Boomer. The audio version is available on iTunes. And uh, we have some other shows coming up. A lot of them, as a matter of fact, really some fantastic guests. So uh, please like us on Facebook uh, and uh, visit us at BloomerBoomer.com. Until next time, so long.